The unveiling of Norway's first Leopard 2A8 nor later this month will be more than a ceremonial moment with dignitaries and flashbulbs. When the vehicle rolls out of the KNDS Deutschland facility in Munich on November 19, 2025, in front of Norwegian Defense Minister Tor O. Sandvik and his German counterpart Boris Pistorius, it will signal the tangible start of a generational shift in Oslo's heavy armor. The debut marks the point where plans and procurement decisions finally manifest as a combat-ready platform, one built for the high north, knitted into NATO's digital command environment, and prepared to counter the spectrum of modern anti-armor threats. The Leopard 2A8 lineage represents Germany's current apex of the Leopard family, but the NOR configuration is distinctly Norwegian in its priorities. Rather than treating the tank as a standalone weapon, Oslo has insisted on a networked, resilient, and cold-weather-optimized system that can act as a node in multi-domain operations. That philosophy led to a tailored electronic suite and a focus on Arctic survivability. The result is a platform that aligns with the Alliance's push toward interoperable data sharing and joint fires while preserving the Leopard's reputation for mobility and punch. Norway's path to this choice was deliberate. Following demanding winter trials in 2022 that pitted the Leopard against South Korea's K-2 Black Panther under subarctic conditions, Oslo announced in early February 2023 that it had selected the German design, and on February 17, 2023, it signed for 54 2A8 NOR tanks. The decision was influenced by survivability under contemporary threats, ease of integration with NATO architectures, and the promise of industrial collaboration with Germany. Those factors balance technical performance with long-term sustainment and alliance cohesion, an equation that increasingly shapes European procurement. Initial vehicles are slated to appear by the close of 2026, with the first combat units becoming operational in 2027 and deliveries continuing until the full fleet is completed in 2031. That pacing reflects the reality of modern armored programs, complex electronics, layered protection suites, and extensive testing pipelines require time. Yet the cadence also creates an immediate bridge between legacy capabilities and future formations. Training pipelines, logistics preparations, and doctrine refinement can ramp alongside deliveries, ensuring the new tanks do not arrive as mere hardware but as the centerpiece of a modernized armored force. The fleet they will replace is familiar and respected but outpaced. Norway's 36 Leopard 2A4 and O tanks, supplemented by eight more held in storage, originated in the Cold War era and were upgraded locally in the early 2000s. They remain reliable and reasonably mobile, but they were not designed for a battle space dense with reconnaissance drones, precision top attack munitions, and network enabled targeting. Their analog-era architecture limits growth, their protection margins reflect a different threat environment, and their inability to fully plug into NATO's current digital backbone constrains operational tempo and effectiveness. At the heart of the 2A8 NOR is its brain, the Cortex Integrated Combat Solution from Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace. Cortex provides the command and control spine that fuses sensors, crew stations, and weapon systems, and it enables the tank to publish and subscribe to data across Norwegian and allied networks in real time. In practice, that means a shared operating picture, faster kill chains, and more efficient allocation of fire support. Norwegian companies Teleplan Globe, Sysint, and Thales Norway add critical layers, battlefield management applications, integration middleware, and encrypted communications, that turn the platform into a secure and interoperable participant in NATO operations rather than a digitally isolated outlier. Protection moves forward just as decisively. The 2A8 family incorporates a refreshed, modular armor regimen with specific reinforcement of the roof area to mitigate top attack threats. The NOR variant preserves the option to integrate an active protection system that can detect and defeat incoming anti-tank guided missiles and other overhead attacks before they impact. This layered approach reflects the shift in modern anti-armor warfare, where survivability depends not only on passive armor mass but also on sensing, electronic defenses, and hard-kill interceptors capable of denying precision munitions their endgame. 
The gun remains the proven 120mm Rainmetal L55 smoothbore, but the ecosystem surrounding that barrel has changed profoundly. New generation fire control, panoramic commander sights, advanced day, night optics, and AI-assisted target recognition support faster detection to engagement cycles and improve first-round hit probability, including on the move and against fleeting targets. Crucially, the digital backbone allows cooperative engagements, the tank can act on targeting data generated by other platforms and share its own tracks for joint fires, a capability that legacy 2A4 and O systems cannot approach. Mobility and endurance, long-standing leopard strengths, receive thoughtful upgrades rather than wholesale reinvention. The 2A8 NOR continues with the 1,500 horsepower MTU MB873 Ka 501 power pack, giving it familiar acceleration and cross-country agility. What changes are the enablers? Improved drivetrain components, hardened power distribution to support electronics heavy kits, and refined thermal management to cope with arctic temperatures and heat loads from sensors and protective systems. The net effect is to preserve maneuver performance even as the platform carries more armor, more computing, and more defensive equipment, without compromising reliability in sub-zero conditions. Industrial cooperation is not an afterthought but a design feature of the program. Under an agreement reached in June 2024, 37 of the 54 tanks will be assembled domestically by Ritec in Levanger, with the remainder produced in Germany. Local assembly is the visible part of a deeper intent, establishing Norway as a sustainment, repair, and upgrade hub for Leopard users across the Nordic region. This approach builds sovereign resilience into the fleet, shortens maintenance timelines, and buffers against global supply disruptions. It also creates feedback loops between operators, maintainers, and industry that accelerate minor fixes and inform future upgrades. Strategically, the timing and configuration address the realities of Northern Europe. NATO's northern flank demands platforms that can survive in an environment defined by long distances, limited infrastructure, persistent ISR, and punishing weather. The 2A8 NOR's connectivity makes it a ready partner for allied ISR and fires, its protection scheme is tuned for current anti-armor threats, and its mobility is proven in the very climate it is expected to defend. The tank is less a solitary fist and more a sensor shooter node, intended to slot into joint kill chains that include artillery, aviation, and long-range precision fires. Seen in that light, the Munich rollout is the first public waypoint of a larger transformation. As deliveries ramp and training cycles mature, units will transition from 2A4NO operations to network 2A8 NOR tactics that emphasize shared awareness, rapid decision-making, and layered survivability. The platform's growth potential, room for future active protection upgrades, evolving munitions, and software-defined enhancements, helps ensure relevance through the 2030s and beyond. The ceremony on November 19, 2025, then, is not simply a debut of steel and composite, it is the visible start of a modernized armored capability designed for Norway's geography, NATO's doctrine, and a threat picture that demands resilience, integration, and speed.